Hi and welcome to this tutorial on uh, thermodynamics and we're just going to talk about the first law of thermodynamics. I'm going to give you the real definition. Okay, so a lot of you have probably heard of uh, the first law of thermodynamics states that energy can either be created or destroyed but can change from one form to the other, something like that. Okay, that's probably what you got taught at um, GCSE or, or the equivalent in whatever country you're living in. This is a real definition and it uh, it's, it's takes some interpretation really. So the internal energy of an isolated system is constant. Okay, so for most of us that is uh, comes across as gobbledygook, but let's have a look at this in a bit more detail. We have this term here, isolated system. Very, very important um, when we're describing this first law of thermodynamics. Also, it's constant. And also we've got internal energy. So let's have a look first at what isolated systems mean. And we've covered this um, in previous tutorial, but let's have a look again. Let's have a little recap of an isolated system. So these are types of systems you can get. An open system is a bit like a cup of tea. This cup of tea is getting a bit famous with me now, but there's your cup of tea, the steam coming off it. Open system, heat and matter can leave that cup of tea. No, no, no worries about that. Closed system. Heat can get in, matter can't get out. Well, let's think of that as a... Um, what have we got? Let's think of it as a really bad flask. Okay, we've got a flask full of coffee. Uh, it's not very good. And you get a little bit of heat loss there. Okay, so over time, it'll cool down to whatever surrounding temperature is. And it's a closed system, so matter can't get in and out, but heat can get in and out. Okay, let's have a look at the isolated system, the one we're interested in. So isolated system is a really good flask, okay? Really good flask. Best flask in the world. Best flask in the universe, and that'll be important in a second. And we've got our coffee in there. A bit of uh, Starbucks or something like that. Right, so we've got... Um, we've got our coffee, it's at 50 degrees Celsius, 50 degrees Celsius or centigrade. This is our flask, that's our vacuum, so that's a flask. Right, let's explain the first law of thermodynamics using this flask. This flask is now floating about in space, so the surroundings are, is the universe. Don't really need to spell this, but we'll do. Earth. Okay. I have a couple of stars. The stars aren't interacting with the flask. Right, so we've got our isolated system. We've got 50 degrees there. We're going to put it into space, and we're going to leave it for 10 years. We come back after 10 years. According to the first law of thermodynamics, if we poured that cup of coffee into a cup, assuming the cup was warm to 50 degrees so it's ready for it then that coffee would be 50 degrees celsius it's an isolated system it's constant there's no energy going in or out and basically the first law of thermodynamics states that because energy can't be created or destroyed the internal energy of that will remain constant and the internal energy of that will be defined by uh, the heat and the work done and it's not doing anything so it should stay at 50 degrees celsius okay so that brings on to another um point the universe now really what what this means let's just switch that off a second switch that off i'll leave that down there what this means really is delta u the change in internal energy if the internal energy is constant, the change is going to be zero. But for the internal energy of the best isolated system in the universe is the universe. So the change in internal energy of the universe is zero. So that means the change in internal energy of our system of interest plus change in internal energy of our 
surroundings equals zero. So that means changing the internal energy of our system equals the negative changing the internal energy of the surroundings. There's always going to be something changing to compensate the change in energy. So that's it for now. Um, hopefully this is the true definition of um, the first law of thermodynamics. And hopefully this is the one you remember. Uh, the, the, the internal energy of an isolated system is constant. And we've come across this term before. And the internal energy for the universe is zero. Changing internal energy. So that's it for now. Bye for now.